got Aura. This is another one down in Swanee. Hula. This is my that's my favorite one. That's the one I'll go to every year. Okeechobee Year One. That's another one down in Florida. Different one. Same people that put on Bonnaroo ended up putting on that one. That was done really well. This was uh, this is Bass Center. This is actually not a festival. This was more of a banger show out in, out in Colorado. I think three miles. They were reporting earthquakes. Uh, that was a nectar show. My name is Jared Tobet. I am originally from Baltimore, Maryland. Technically, Elkridge is a little town right outside of Baltimore. Uh, I moved down here to go to school at UNCW about uh, nine years ago now, in 2009, I guess it was. And uh, I guess the easiest way to say is that I'm an entrepreneur. I, I don't work for anyone. I have worked for people before. Um, I was introduced to festivals uh, around the time I was uh, probably 18 or 19. I got a call from a buddy saying, hey, can you be at a can you be at, uh, can you be in Tennessee in three days? I was like, yeah, absolutely. He's like festivals. I was gonna find one way or the other. Luckily, I had a buddy who had some of the similar interests as I did, and uh, ever since then, I've been going constantly. Man, I love it. Music is is one of the reasons that motivates me to travel. Most of the time, I travel it's to see live music. You know, that's the that's the end goal. But I mean, these places, it's a uh, it's it's definitely a utopia. It's, it's the perfect place. It's my church. It's, it's, a, it's an environment where you can go and people are drinking, people are smoking and doing God knows what for three or four days with 40,000 people and I've never seen one fight. I've met some of the best people that I've ever had the pleasure of meeting at these things, seen some of the best music I've ever seen. And you know, when you're at a live, when you're at a live venue, um, some of the things that can happen, you just will never hear on a CD. The people that you come in contact with, like I said, uh, they're just some of the most unique and free-spirited people, and they, uh, you know, we all share, I think, a common belief that there, there is a better way. This is a way that I think people really recharge. I've always thrived inside of a capitalistic environment. Uh, I mean, the concept of buying something for a dollar and selling it for two was always something that was very easy for me. I think from a very early age, I was turned off of the fact of working for somebody else's dream. And the fact that you were such an expendable part of that machine, whatever machine that they were running. I promised I would never do it again. So I have a bunch of hobbies that I've picked up from a bunch of really talented people. Uh, I like to I like to read. Um, I like to blow glass sometimes. I haven't been doing that as much as I needed to lately. Um, love going out and playing some disc golf and uh, traveling and going to music festivals. I also like to combine money making with hobbies. So uh, I got into playing poker. Uh, I don't really look at it as gambling. I try to stick to it, you know, a, a, a set of rules. Don't let the cards play me. I also, <laughs> I was bored one day. Me and a buddy were trespassing, and he was like, you know, we gotta walk over here through this like mile of shrubbery and see if there's something over here. And I was like, I'm, I'm not doing that. I was like, we need an eye in the sky. And uh, I think the next day I went to Best Buy and I got myself a drone, and it blew my mind. It completely changes your perspective on how to see the world around you. And immediately I started getting phone calls about like. Hey, we're surfing today. Will you come out and film this? Hey, we're uh, you know, I got my, I'm selling my house. Can you come out and do a fly around around it? Like, hey, we got two jet skis out in the intercoastal. This was the other day. We got two models on two jet skis in the intercoastal. Will you come film that? Like, yes, I'll be there. And uh, so very quickly, I realized like there was way more of a demand for it than I thought. And uh, and so I'm in the process of opening a company called I Above, and it's going to be a little uh, you know. A, a, basically a drone company that I run myself, you know, weddings, real estate, uh, any, any really application, commercial or otherwise. And there you have it. Reasons why to love music festivals and tips and tricks on how to get there. I'm Alex Da Silva, back to you in the studio.